Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Efingela and Yuri Anikaev. This is a game from the Soviet Union Championship played in Minsk in 1979. Anything important happened to you in 1979. Gela had white pieces and he started with e4. Anikaev played the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, e6, d4. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, d6, the Scheveningen variation, bishop to e2, bishop to e7, and both players cast at king's side, f4, this is the main line, knight to c6, bishop to e3, a6, controlling b5 square, a4, preventing b5 later on. Bishop to d7, bishop to f3, knight to a5, on the way to c4, maybe. Queen to e2, queen to c7, white to move. g4, this was a novelty at that time. Rook from f to c8, g5, knight to e8, f5. Knight to c4, bishop to h5, g6, f takes on g6, f takes on g6, queen to f2, threatening queen to f7 check. Knight to e5, defending f7 square. Knight to f3, attacking the defender. Knight to g7, knight takes on e5, black to move. Rook to f8 was played. If d takes on e5, then queen to f7 check. And after king to h8, queen takes on e7, and white stands better. Back to our game. Rook to f8, preventing queen to f7 check, and attacking the queen. What is the best square for the queen? What would you do? Gela played knight to f7, knight takes on h5. The material is now equal, and Anna Kiev probably thought that he has everything under control. But there was a surprise. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Are you ready to see the move? Gela played knight to d5. What is this? Believe it or not, this is the killer move. E takes on d5. Can you see the purpose of this move? Black won a piece, but weakened the dark squares along the a1, h8 diagonal. The game continued. Knight to h6, king to g7, white to move. What now? What would you do? Are you ready to see the move? Gela played the queen to f7 check. What? Is this a blunder? Anikaev happily captured the queen. Rook takes rook check. King to h8. White to move. And to play a move that is asking to be played. Bishop to d4 check. By now it is absolutely clear why white sacrificed the knight. If the black pawn was on e6, black would play e5. Anikaev blocked the check with bishop, but white played a move and black resigned and the move is rook takes bishop. Anikaev resigned. If knight takes on f6, then bishop takes on f6 checkmate. And let's go back. How about knight to g7? If knight to g7, one line goes like this. Rook to f7, threatening bishop takes knight, check mate. After rook to g8, bishop takes on g7, check. Rook takes bishop. Rook to f8, check. Rook to g8. Rook takes rook. The Arabian checkmate. Wow, what an amazing game. What do you think of this game?
And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your tests and bye for now.